What is up guys, Ron Pretty here from Techno Buffalo, and if you guys have been following us for the last three to four videos in three to four days, you'll know that we've been covering Mobile World Congress in a very vloggish style. If you guys like what you've been seeing, let us know in the comments below, we always appreciate the support. And to finish our trip off on a good note, we wanted to make a top five things we saw at Mobile World Congress that really caught our attention. But these are not five things we've already made videos on, it's five brand new things that didn't really warrant their own video that we still wanted to talk about and bring up on your radar. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, we have the Huawei MateBook. Now this is basically a Surface Pro and iPad Pro competitor, nothing really to report here other than Huawei is aiming it at corporate and business professionals. That's what the differentiating factor is, hence why they've paired it with what they're calling a Mate Pen and a Mate Dock. The Mate Pen is a pen. It's their version of the Apple Pencil and the Surface Pen. The only real difference here is that it has a laser pointer on the back. Now, I don't know how useful this is for regular consumers. I personally am not that stoked about it, but I could see it being really cool for corporate professionals and meetings and slideshows and presentations. I guess we'll just have to wait to see how it pans out. The Mate Dock, however, does seem to be a useful feature with VGA, HDMI, and a ton of other outputs for bigger screens and projectors. In terms of display, you're looking at a 12 inch 2160 by 1440 display. You're looking at a 6th gen Intel Core M processor that clocks in at 3.1 gigahertz and you're running Windows 10. Between 4 to 8 gigs of RAM and between 128 and 512 gigs of solid state storage depending on how you configure it. Now moving on to number 4, we have the LG G5 Friends because the G5 is obviously so popular. It has 4 friends that are worth mentioning. We talked about 2 in the hands-on, the camera module and the hi-fi audio output, 2 that we did not mention though however are LG's 360 camera which is supposed to be a super simple button button press 360 camera and the accompanying 360 VR headset. Now all I have to say about this VR headset is that it is terribly made. We picked it up and put it on and the thing is super plasticky, it doesn't even seem to be built properly, everything just falls apart. You get a ton of light bleed from the side so Todd was using his hands to block out the excess light. It doesn't seem like a very smooth move on LG's part, that being said, all of this can be forgiven if it comes in at a very appealing price point, so I guess we'll find out. And now speaking of 360 and 360 cameras, we have what Samsung announced, which was their 360 camera. What's different about this is that it seems to be more aimed at a real camera, pro camera, action camera market. Samsung will also allow you to shoot with just one lens, so it's single directional, it doesn't have to be 360, which seems like a good way for them to sort of protect their users who don't necessarily want to shoot in 360, but still like the camera. It's dust and water resistant, so it seems more leaning towards that action crowd. But I think the bigger discussion you're gonna have is here are two companies, LG and Samsung, who are trying to make these 360 VR experiences within their product line. So you have the phone, you have the 360 camera, and you have the VR headset. Samsung is in fact pitching it as that. Shoot on the camera, edit and trim on your phone, consume it through the VR headset, and then share it again using your phone. Next we have HP and Microsoft's big guns, the HP Elite X3. Now this is a beast of a phone. In terms of specs, you're looking at a 5.9 inch Quad HD AMOLED display, Snapdragon 820 processor, expandable storage, three gigs of RAM, breathe in. It's a beast of a phone. But the real thing that was interesting going to the Microsoft booth was that they had it docked to a bigger display, a keyboard, and a mouse. Now when I reviewed the 950, Continuum was one of the most interesting features to me to see, is this going to be the future of where computing goes? With tablets laptops, we're seeing sort of the convergence of all devices. Is this another sign and another step we're making towards using our smartphones as our only devices, docking them to bigger displays and keyboards and sort of getting rid of our laptops? Obviously it's very hard to say right now, but the HP Elite X3 seems to be like the flagship for all Windows 10 phones. So if you're a big Windows 10 fan and Windows 10 user, you definitely want to check this out. And last but not least, we have two devices we saw at the Sony booth. They're both concept devices, the Sony Xperia Agent and the Sony Xperia Projector. First off with the Agent, it has two eyes, so credit to Sony for giving it some personality and some character, at least they look like eyes to me. The Agent seems to be an Amazon Echo competitor with a camera and a display. It uses the rotating camera to recognize when you come home. It can supposedly turn on lights, take incoming calls, give you notifications and in general just sort of be your personal assistant. The Sony Xperia projector is exactly what it sounds like, it's a projector. The idea is that it shoots a projection onto real world surfaces with which you can interact and touch and move around. You can throw up a calendar, common information that other people in your house need to see. It's extremely sci-fi-y and very cool. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Those are five things we wanted to talk about and bring up on your guys' radar. Let us know what you think in the comments below. What are you pumped about? What are you not pumped about? It is the future of tech, so I genuinely 
genuinely want to talk with you guys in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Hit subscribe for more awesome content. We always try our best. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for joining us on this trip across Barcelona for Mobile World Congress. And I can't wait to bring you guys more awesome stuff. Thanks for watching.